afternoon, everyone. My name is Holly Rollison, and I'm the assistant principal here at Tigerville Elementary School. I would like to welcome you to our annual Veterans Day ceremony. First, before we begin, I'd like to extend my gratitude to a few people that have helped pull this day together and make it so special. First, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to come and support our students and the veterans that we're honoring in our community today. Second, I would like to thank our students and staff that have worked so hard to pull together some artwork and written pieces that they would like to share with you to honor our veterans and to show our appreciation. Next, I'd like to thank Representative Mike Burns who participates in our celebration every year. He devotes a lot to our school and we truly appreciate him taking the time to come and support our veterans and our community. Finally, I'd like to thank our veterans, our distinguished honored guests for the day. We truly appreciate the sacrifices that you've made for our country that have helped make it the country that we live in today. Without your sacrifices, we would not be as blessed as we are, and we cannot thank you enough for your service. Please take a few moments, sit back, and enjoy the show. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible. special thanks. We thank you for being brave. We thank you for keeping us safe. The wars you have fought, the bodies you have brought. You have had support. You have had said, abort, abort. You've had your own service. We will remember you on the 11th hour, 11th day, and 11th month. Later, we will have peace. Later, the wars will decrease. We th will thank you again on the 11th hour, 11th day, and 11th month. <coughs> The America's White Table is one that has been set in dining halls of the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps since the end of the Vietnam War. Okay. The America 
I mean, the table is set to honor those who have served in, in America's armed forces, especially those missing in action and those who are prisoners of war. A small table shows one soldier's lonely battle against many. The White Claws honors a soldier's pure heart when he answers his country's call to duty. The Lemon Slice shows a captive soldier's bitter fate. Salt shows the tears of families waiting for loved ones to return. The empty chair is for the missing soldiers who are not here. The black napkin is for the sorrow of captivity. The glass turned over is for the meal that won't be eaten. The white candle is for peace. The red rose is for the hope that all are missing will return someday. It is just a little white table, but it reminds us of the sacrifices made by our service men and women and their families. Sleep at night, you guys are ready to fight. When we're at play during the day, we know that we will be okay, for you protect us each day. We hope you know how much we care for all of you and all you do. We certainly put our trust in you because you stand for the red, white, and blue. When duty calls, 
and you all go and do whatever it takes to keep our great land safe. We know, we all know how hard you try to keep America alive. Thank you all soldiers, young and old, for being so brave and bold. We know it must be hard to go away, but your family knows you'll be back one day. And to all the soldiers who paid the ultimate sacrifice, you did it so we could live our lives. Your family misses you dear, and they wish that you were near, but they know they had to let you go, for you did it all for them. I know how it feels to lose a soldier you hold near, but they were brave and so are we. Thank God we're free to the Navy, Army, Coast Guard, Marines, Air Force, and National Guard. This letter is dedicated to you. For everyone in America cares for you, and that's the truth. We know you care for our great land. You make a stand to protect our rights. We know we can sleep at night. You carry guns and weapons, and we, and all we know, you will protect us all and answer to civilians' call. Thank you all veterans. To a veteran who proudly served but sadly passed, we miss you, Papa. Take up our call with the foe. To you, from fallen hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders. In the Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row. That marks our place, and in the sky, the lark still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, and sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders field. The Air Force. The zip and zoom and sonic boom of the pilots who protect our country. The lives they risk, the lives they save just to fly in a plane. They go overseas to protect and please the ones that they look after. The whiz, and missile, the whiz of missiles and hiss of bombs, they protect and fight for freedom. The scream of jet engines and rumble of planes, there is nothing quite like the Air Force. If you flew a plane, would you be as brave as the ones in the Air Force? Thank you veterans for all that you do. None of us are as brave as you. The, the people who work, the people who fly, we can all give a simple reply. Army, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines. Thank you veterans. Good afternoon. My name is Mike Burns and I have the privilege to represent you and your family in the South Carolina General Assembly. Today is November the 11th. It is a very special day in our country. We celebrate, uh, the, first of all, the end of World War I, but most of all, we celebrate all our veterans of all of our wars defending our freedoms uh, for generations. I want to also take a lot of time this morning to express my appreciation to your school, Tigerville Elementary which every year puts a lot of time and effort into having a program to honor our veterans, to respect what they've done for our liberties, for our freedoms over the years. I also hope that you'll take time as you go into uh, middle school, high school, college, and on into adulthood to remember this day. And as you see a veteran out in society, somewhere at an airport, at a restaurant, or wherever you run into one, would you take time and stop and thank them for their service as they have uh, stood in the gap for your freedoms and liberties. I hope you're having a great school year at Tigerville Elementary. Thank you for the time to address you this morning, this afternoon. Uh, right to One the last line. Record.
As we conclude this Veterans Day ceremony, I would like to thank our students and staff for their hard work. Students, your work was amazing. The writing and the music melted our hearts. The artwork was gorgeous. Representative Mike Burns, thank you for once again taking time to speak at our presentation. Staff, we truly appreciate all of your hard work putting this together to honor our veterans. And finally, veterans, thank you so much once again for the sacrifices that you've made for our country and our community. We are forever indebted to you and words can express our gratitude. We are so honored to be part of the community and share it with you. Thank you.